Hey everyone, all right, so here I am trading on the Traveling Trading Station live in California. A green day up $3,213.41, a little bit more than I made yesterday uh, trading from uh, the Delta Sky Lounge at uh, JFK Airport. What's interesting is that uh, yesterday I had more lag on uh, the, you know, the, the Wi-Fi and on my orders than I have today, even though now I'm across the country and yesterday I was in New York City, uh, you know, it comes down to the quality of your internet connection. Now, you can certainly make money on poor quality internet connections. I've done it before, and yesterday I was up 1700 before I finished the day down 1700 and that wasn't because of the internet, it was because I overtraded. But it's just interesting to note for those of you guys that are in different parts of the country or the world and ask yourself, well, I have lag on my orders, and I, I can tell you from experience that if I have a good internet connection, no lag at all. So found my way to some profit today, and as always, questions, comments on the recap and the trades, leave them below, and I'll see you guys first thing tomorrow morning. All right, everyone, so um, we're gonna go ahead and break down the stocks from today, uh, midday recap, finishing the day uh, back in the green, up $3,213.41 on two stocks. MDJH, which was tough, and SINT, which was also tough. So, you know, today was a day where, uh, you know, kind of like yesterday, things were a little tricky, but today, instead of overstaying my welcome, uh, I'm going to just take the profit and, and be done. All right, so uh, SINT, we'll look at this one first. Uh, this was the first one that I traded today. It was gapping up over 50% pre-market. It was our leading gapper in the entire market with over a million shares of pre-market volume. So it, uh, it had a catalyst, and I'll just mute this for a second. The catalyst was an analyst uh, price target of $3. Well, you know, that happened overnight on the catalyst of a price target. So it's like, you know, cha-ching. Uh, but, I, you know, obviously for me, uh, I just saw this on the scanners pre-market and I was like, okay, well, um, you know, this looks interesting. My only concern was that it already had over a million shares of volume pre-market, and that sometimes means that uh, when the bell rings, because it's been actively trading, that uh, it kind of trades the way stocks trade at 11.30 or 12.30, which is a little bit choppier, a little bit more resistance. So it surprised me when the bell rang, and it squeezed here right up to 90, uh, 290. On this pullback right here, I got in, uh, right around 288 and or something like that for the anticipating the break over three dollars it comes up it hits a high of three big sellers on the ask lots of volume couldn't break three I bail out uh, with five hundred dollars of profit okay so I bail out it drops back down here on this one minute candle to 276 then it rips back up and as it curls back up I get back in with 9,000 shares at 95, 95, and 98. It pops over $3, it hits a high of 314. I'm selling half, selling half, taking my profit. And after that trade, I was up $1,500. So I made $1,000 on that trade. And now four minutes into the day, I'm already up 1,500 bucks. All right, so now it's pulling back. It's doing an ABCD setup. And an ABCD setup is when we pull back on the one minute, we pop up, we pull back again, and then as we curl up right here, that's where I look to take uh, a trade. So on this one, the first five minute candle to make a new high was a break over 295. So what I ended up doing as soon as the five minute candle here ended, this five minute candle, as soon as it ended, I was looking here on the one minute chart for my entry. It starts, I start to see some volume on the time in sales. So I see the green on the tape right here, and I went ahead and punched the order, buy, 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 uh, right as it broke or right as it was hitting 290 in anticipation of the break of 295, anticipating the break back over three. It breaks back over three. It hits a high of 306 or seven, whatever this is, 307. I'm taking some profit, taking some profit, and up 15 cents per share. Then uh, it, reverses it drops down to 80 and I was like okay well I'm now down like 10 cents on my remaining 800 shares but I'll give it a chance to pop back up it doesn't pop back up it drops all the way down here to 40 and I sold at 46 so 
on this trade, I made an additional, th uh, yeah, an additional thousand dollars. Well, I made an additional probably 1400, 14 cents or so, and then I gave back uh, 400 or whatever it was on this drop. So not picture perfect, and you see now it's selling off more. So I think this one's probably going to be done for the day. And that's definitely disappointing to see a rejection as big as that because uh, it was you know, pretty dramatic at the time. Uh, Yuma, I see moving up on the high day momentum scanner, up 23%, moving higher. This was the one that was in play yesterday, but I gave back my profit on it, so I'm going to leave that alone. MDJH, uh, Jacob saying up another $70 after commission with MDJH and Yuma. It's five green days in a row with a small account. Nice, good job. Um, now, let's see. So MDJH, let's see, the high here is uh, 380 so where I took my trade on this, I was watching it out of the gates. This was also a gapping stock on the gap scanner. The bell rings and it squeezes up here from 350 to 375. And I was like, mm, man, well, I guess I missed it. And I didn't want to jump in and chase it because, you know, yesterday I was red. Today my only goal was to finish the day green. And I did that and made back everything I lost yesterday, which is great. But anyway, so I, I kind of hesitated. And then as it curled back up here, I jumped in uh, as it was breaking over 350 and added as it broke over high of day, which was a bad add because as you can see, it only hit a high of 80 and then came back down. And so when it came back down, I stopped out with uh, $600, or, yeah, $687 of profit on 10,000 shares. So that's only six cents. So that, so that wasn't a great trade, uh, but you know, it's um, a little icing on the cake. But I, I would say today, um, not as much follow through as we were seeing uh, earlier in the week. But despite that, uh, trading with uh, decent share size of 10 to 12,000 shares, I was able to uh, hit my daily goal, in fact, beat my daily goal by 50%, and, you know, make some real progress here today. So I can be happy with that live to trade another day and I'll be back at it uh, as always first thing tomorrow morning we'll finish off the week hopefully with uh, one more green day all right so that's it for me I will see you guys all first thing tomorrow morning if you're still watching you must have really enjoyed that video so why not subscribe and get email alerts anytime I upload new content remember when you subscribe you become a member of the warrior trading family